Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Two Minute Tuesday, and this week's topic is about how concealment is completely hopeless. Okay, so if you're not new to my channel, then you know that my channel kind of circles around this idea that concealment is actually not hopeless. So what gives with this video topic? The point that I wanna get across in this really quick video is that concealment is hopeless. If you're not ready and willing to put in the time and effort and even research into the process of learning how to appropriately conceal. When I first got into concealed carry, I thought that the way that you conceal is by wearing loose clothing and for a time and for a lot of people that can work, but I wouldn't classify that as concealment. That's more of covering your gun, um, not so much actually getting it to conform to your body and conceal appropriately. So if you're looking to just throw on a big shirt and hide your gun behind that wall of clothing, then go for it, that probably isn't hopeless. But if you want to learn how to really conceal and use concealment features and principles to really hide your gun well, then it's going to be a process. It's going to take customization. It's going to take a little bit of research, but once you get that dialed in, it makes concealment so much easier. Recently, I was listening to a podcast episode called Accelerating the Concealment Journey, where John and Sarah Houtman were being interviewed. And I wanted to finish off this Two Minute Tuesday by reading you one of the quotes from that. I thought it really encompassed the process that we have to go through to learn about concealment. The holster itself is just a starting point. Almost no holster is perfect for everybody off the shelf. The only other thing people do that is like carrying a gun inside the waistband is roughly analogous to wearing a prosthetic of some kind or a medical device. You have a pre-manufactured piece of equipment that is not like your body and is attached to your body for 12 hours a day. So if you look at somebody who has a prosthetic limb, a portion of that limb is manufactured and comes out of the box a certain way. And then there's the other part of it that interfaces with, for example, whatever remains of the arm or the leg, and then the part that interfaces with their body. They then spend a lot of time with their prosthetic specialist tuning that to fit them. They use specialized materials and strategies in order to reduce things like pressure points, fatigue, and skin issues. Someone will wear their prosthetic for a week and then go get it adjusted. So your holster is a starting point for something of a prosthetic experience. Thanks for watching this week's Two Minute Tuesday. Sorry it ran a little bit long, but I hope that you guys got a good idea for why concealment is not entirely hopeless and the differences between concealment and covering your gun. I'll see you guys in my next video.